Shalom, shalom, peace, shalom. Welcome to another episode. Don't shoot the messenger. DSTM. It's episode number one forty-two. The water for joining me. Thank you for joining me. It's your host. I acquire a moth IQ. Is I'm also known as a moth last name IQ or I acquire. It's all the same. <laughs> Hopefully everybody's doing well, man. Doing well uh, and had a good weekend and a solid Shabbat. Uh, for those of my California people, man, hopefully you staying cool, man. We've been getting hit upside the head heavy with this heat wave, man. Heavy with this heat wave. Continuous alerts about the grid going down, running out of electricity. Uh, you know, telling us that the uh, the power grid needs to be preserved between four and ten o'clock. Uh, you know, it's, it's going down out here. Um, we gotta, uh, you know, make sure that we're all doing everything we can to stay cool, you know, um, because they are rumoring about blackouts happening, uh, at any particular point in time throughout the, uh, throughout the day, throughout the week, actually, you know, the past couple of weeks, man, we've been getting hit, but, um, nonetheless, we still pushing. Hopefully everybody's doing well, man, wherever you be at. Uh, I know a couple of folks that's out there that's, uh, dealing with some illnesses that hit me up. I just want to let you know my prayers and supplications, restoration are up for you uh no name no need for names you know who you are um my prayers are out there for you collectively israel um if you're tuning into this pray for your brothers and sisters uh pray for israel right now uh when you get time go into your closets and your meditation continue to pray for your brothers and sisters uh times is heavy for many all right and uh you know there's no time but the present to uh send up them prayers for your people Scriptures say to pray without ceasing. So, you know, let that be part of your uh, your daily meditation. Just wanted to put that out there. Um, outside of that, man, hopefully everybody's solidified and well. And, well, um, you know, we're going to go ahead and get to it, man. We got a few articles that we got to look at. A couple of prophetic uh, issues on hand, as usual, that we need to make sure um, we're covering. All right. Um, let me go ahead on and uh, share my screen and get this up uh hold on one second y'all i got this just like it one moment all right so let's go ahead and share we got a lot of things to talk about man um you know, Haiti uh, has been going through massive protests and upheaval over there, man. The, the, the country is damn near collapsed. They're looking for a regime change over there. Uh, people are saying if there isn't a regime change, they're going to die. Um, I think Slow Biden's top bodyguard then left. Iran is launching military uh, drills utilizing their zone. I mean, their drone technologies as they continue on in pre preparations for future war. Um, a number of different mass shootings, and I'm calling them mass shootings. Uh, oh, these cops, man, they're back on the rampage, killing our people. Ohio, two in LA, all within the last couple of weeks. I want to show those videos if you haven't seen it. And then also got an article regarding DNA testing, man. And the military is telling their brass, don't do it. Don't do it. So I know how much you, you know, I know how much you, uh, brothers and sisters out there, man, want to try to find your identity. You want to lock into something. And twenty three and Me, Ancestry dot com, is telling you we we've got the solutions. Come on over here, take a swab, send it in to us, give us your DNA, we'll take care of the rest and tell you everything about your background. Much of that technology is questionable and, fl and, and flawed in some ways. Um, uh, there is some truth to DNA testing. However, these publicly, um, acknowledged companies have gone on record saying that some of their results are flawed. It's just another selling of hope scheme. You dig? So let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. I made mention regarding this, this, um, uh, what is this? Get out of here. Made mention regarding the heat wave that's going on out here, man. Just just so 
the rest of y'all that's out there, man, I'm sure everybody's dealing with some sort of affliction, dealing with these weather, with, with, with these weather patterns, be it rains, floods, hurricanes on the way, heat waves where you're at. Yeah, you, you got to feel our pain out here a little bit. All right. You got to feel our pain a little bit. California facing a chance of blackouts amid brutal heat wave. California will face its highest chance of blackouts this year as a brutal heat wave continues to blanket the state with triple digit heat officials warned Monday. Yesterday, there was a brief blackout in my neighborhood, and it was very brief. I think the power went out for maybe like a minute before they boosted it back up. But the threat is real. Uh, I was talking with a brother yesterday. He fixes air conditioners, and uh, he was doing the job. I mean, there's no shortage of work for him right now. My brother Sean, what's happening? <laughs> if, if you watch tonight, uh, no shortage of work for him. Gang of people's air conditioners going out. He had one yesterday that he was helping fix. Freon fell, you know, emptied out all over the place. Got to get a new one, Nothing, a new um, air conditioner, nonetheless. Home Depot, don't got them. Lowe's, don't got them. Couple of, went online, looked for, for local spots in the city, don't got them. He had to drive all the way out to Thousand Oaks. And if you don't know, Thousand Oaks is from L.A. You're talking about at least an hour plus drive in the valley where it's even 10 degrees hotter. To go find a air conditioner. I went to the store earlier today. No fans. I'm looking fans. They had, I went to Home Depot. They had one air conditioner left. Fans gone. Uh, wiped out in uh, multiple stores. So the uh, the effect is real. That's why I said and say, you know, brothers and sisters should already kind of have things in order. So in the event that things do go down, if there is a problem that you're prepared to kind of deal with the, you know, the onslaught. Um, so, you know, if the power went out here, all praise to the most high, we'll, we'll be OK for for a little while. We'll be OK. But, you know, for a lot of my other brothers and sisters that's out there, man, that have no. Nothing in place, they're going to sweat it out and they're going to you know be dealing with rough life. But anyway. Uh, just the fact that power outages is is, is looming. Uh, again, they are saying that low usage of, of power needs to happen between 4 and 10 p.m. out here. Uh, and there could be a grid outage where all electricity could go out in uh, in the state. That's what they're saying on the news. Could it be fear mongering to make sure everybody follows protocol or not? Who knows? But I did see yesterday a little, little glimpse of the power shutting out all right so reading this it says as people crank up their air conditioners the state forecast rec record levels of energy use that could exceed supply monday evening said elliot manzer uh president of california independent system operators which runs the state electrical grid the state could fall 2,000 to 4,000 megawatts of electricity short of its power supply which represents as much as 10 percent of normal demand state energy officials said electric electric load on tuesday potentially could hit 51,000 watts the highest demand ever seen in California. Uh, so here they go. CAISO issued issued a flex alert call for voluntary conservation between 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. on Monday and 4 to 10 p.m. Tuesday, making seven alerts in as many days. And I've seen them alerts. They've even had the alerts, uh, emergency alerts flash on the TV yesterday. Uh, so they're telling consumers, keep your air conditioners at 78 degrees. Remember, if you got them smart meters, if, at least in Colorado, they hijacked them, 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 um, them uh, thermostats and locked people out of them so that they couldn't adjust it to anything but whatever they mandated. So, you know, look at all the telling people don't use the ovens and dishwashers and all of that. Plus, they also are instituting a 15 day no watering of the lawns here in California. Saying, citing that. Um, there's a leak in one of the one of the pipes and they're going to need 15 days to to uh, to fix it. Let me see if they got it up yet. Yeah, here we go. 
see this 15 day outlet this is just off the cuff I, I did this is just in the spirit i wasn't even going i was planning on going this route but bear with me it's still information for everybody to know especially here if you're here in california you already know what time it is all right so 15 day outdoor watering shutdown begins for more than 4 million los angeles county residents tomorrow so for those of us or those of you who have gardens and all of that they're telling you no water so what's that going to do to your crops in the midst of this heat wave What's that going to do to your food supplies in the midst of this heat wave? You can shake the dice and try to, you know, gamble in, in, in um, water what you can. But uh, best believe, I'm sure they got monitors and trying to figure out who's breaking the protocols, who's not. Neighbors are spying on each other. See something, say something. You understand? Neighbors are spying on you, wondering if you're going to break the rules. But for 15 days, the next two weeks and a day, no watering. No watering. Okay. More than 4 million Los Angeles County residents will be forced to go without outdoor watering for more than two weeks starting Tuesday as Metropolitan Water District crews work to repair a leaking pipeline. The fixes are expected to take up to 15 days after a major delivery upper feeder pipeline that breaks like that brings water to Southern California from, from the Colorado River was found to have a large leak after a temporary fix earlier this year. MWD officials are set to repair the pipeline in its entirety. So uh, these are the places that are going to be hit. Beverly Hills, Burbank, Glendale, Long Beach, Pasadena, San Fernando, and Torrance are directly impacted. No water in your lawns, no water in your gardens, no water in your trees. Uh, no washing your dog outside, none of that. Okay. Uh, that's on the, on the table. So I don't know if people are aware, but if you have gardens, if you got those things, um, I don't, I don't know what to tell you They're they're, they're pretty much going to, they're, they're pretty much going to go to, go to hell in the handbasket. Redeem what you can glean what you can and get, get them up out of there, save them. Cause the rest is probably going to die over these next two weeks with no water. All right. Let's get to the other uh, news at hand. Haitians launch protest demand ouster of the prime minister. This has been going on for the last couple of weeks. See, this this is an article from August 22nd. I just haven't had a chance to pull it out. Thousands of protesters in Haiti's capital and other major cities blocked roads, shut down businesses and marched through the streets Monday to demand the prime minister Ariel Henry step down and to call for better better quality of life so how prophetic is this hold up what happened how prophetic is this so we cover this all the time and the more that we see things happening in the world as it pertains to these particular scriptures we're always going to revisit these same scriptures because it's only more reminders that these things are coming to pass faster, furious. Verse 1, Second Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, measure out the time diligently in itself. So we're supposed to be measuring the time as we see it unfold within itself. We're all supposed to be watching and understanding how time is unfolding. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before. Well, what's, what was being told before? Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So the visitation of the Lord is upon us. How's he going to visit, the, visit us? Wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places, famines, pestilence, plagues, um, destruction, death. You know, all these things are going to be happening. Um, hunger. All these things are going to be happening. The Lord said now the spirits have been released. Teeth of wild beasts. We've been covering that. Seeing everything from shark attacks to whale attacks to fox attacks. Everything is happening right now. Verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. There's been massive protests for the last two years plus. A few episodes back, I showed a whole grid of all of the... um protests throughout the world a number of different countries from ecuador to uh uh iran to venezuela all throughout america protests have been going on protesting in the netherlands protesting in france protesting in germany protests in haiti 
uproars of the people in the world. We are seeing that, witnessing it firsthand. Firsthand. Now, this is something else that we see. Second Ezra 15, 16, it says, For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another, they shall not regard their princes, their kings, nor their princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Sedition among men. Well, what is sedition? We looked at this before. Let's revisit it for those who don't know. Conduct or language inciting rebellion against the authority of a state. Insurrection. Rebellion. Hmm? Are we not seeing that happening throughout the world? A factious com commotion in a state, the stirring up of such a commotion, incitement of discontent against government, and disturbance of public tranquility, as by inflammatory speeches or writings or acts or language tending to breach a public order, as to stir up a sedition, a speech, a pamphlet, abounding in sedition. That's what they charge you Howard Shy with. The same one that you say loves everybody, had no problems with nobody. I mean, anybody like that, you would think, would be beloved of everyone that was around him. Nobody would be thinking to kill him. Nobody would be going out there looking to lock him up, looking to have him tortured if he was out loving everybody. Clearly, he was out there hurting some feelings. Clearly, he was out there going against the grain, following after the manners of which the prophets of old did, which was in uh, Jeremiah 28 and 9. It tells you that the prophets of old prophesied against many countries and kingdoms, prophesying of war and pestilence. He's doing those type of things. We're doing those type of things. And they call it sedition. So what are they doing here? Matter of fact, let's just make sure we get that just in case anybody say he said it, but he didn't show it. Are you happy now? 28, 29 and 8. Shalak it. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against, not for, not for, not in support of, against many countries and against great kingdoms of war, against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. If one wants to go out and say that they are an apostle, a prophet, a teacher of the word of the Most High, a minister, a Moshe, whatever. There are stipulations and a pedigree of understanding that has to be coming from the mouth of these men. Prophesying against many countries. Are they doing that in the churches? Are they doing that in the cathedrals? Are they doing that over there, the, the unconscious community? Or are they doing it over there in um, the Buddhist community? How about the Hindus? Hmm? Are they doing that? I don't think so. Are they doing it in the science community? Are they doing it in um, the um, the humanist community, the Baha'i faith? Uh, wh wh where wh are they doing that? No. The only ones prophesying against countries are the Israelites, and then you got some other bandwagon, you know, uh, backpacking Edomite evangelists and and and, and such, who's attempting to speak about America. But they're not doing the job of a real prophet because the word's not been given to them. Prophesying against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and evil of pestilence. So this is what's going on. Look what's happening in Haiti. They said that they need the prime minister up out of there. And if you remember, the last prime minister, he gets assassinated. This guy gets put in and now all hell breaks loose in Haiti again. They've been fighting over the gangs trying to rule. This new puppet that got put up in there. And you know who put him in there. Minister Ariel Henry. You know what he. You know he's got connections with, with America. I'm not even going to go there. But you know Esau. Give him a pass. Say he, he's our new puppet. You going on over there. Associated Press journalists observe an unidentified man fatally shoot a demonstrator in Port-au-Prince and then flee in a car as the crowd temporary, temporarily scattered. Demonstrator Lionel Jean-Pierre, who witnessed the shooting, said things in Haiti have gotten out of control. You don't say? I mean, when were they in control? 
Haiti is still trying to recover since the 2010 earthquake and, and beyond. Families don't know what to do, he said, as the crowd around him chanted. If Ariel doesn't leave, we're going to die. This is what I'm saying. This place is about to collapse. Haiti is in hell right now. They're protesting in Cuba. I mean, all over the world. Do you understand? Look, here's another one. 70,000 people take to the streets of Prague to protest against anti-Russian sanctions, arms, supplies to Ukraine. More protests. I mean, it's all over the place. You can't avoid this stuff. Violence and kidnappings have surged in Port-au-Prince and nearby areas in recent months with warnings, with warring gangs killing hundreds of civilians in their fight over territory. They have grown more powerful since last year's assassination of President Jovenel, Jovenel Moise. In one of the most recent killings denounced by Prime Minister in Haiti's Office of Citizens Protection, suspected gang members killed eight people over the weekend in one community, including a mother and her two daughters who were set on fire while still alive. I mean, they're going through hell over there. Hell. I mean, that's not a humanitarian crisis, slow Biden. And the Democrats who, who love and praise democracy. I mean, you can't scrape up some billions of dollars to go over there and help that country out like you keep throwing over there to Ukraine. You can't go over there and help them out. You don't see this whole country being split in half between the gangs and, and the government and the people are saying neither is helping us. Why do you think they're flooding to the borders and you keep kicking them out saying go back home? Huh? Oh, because those lives don't matter. Them niggas down over there in Haiti. Keep them over there. And they voodoo and everything else. You don't want that, huh? Oh, but you can go help the um, the Nazis and, 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 and the sympathizers and all of that over there in Ukraine. You can help them, though, huh? Okay. All right. Let me leave that alone before YouTube says you're being mean. Let me move on. Let me move on. But we see here, man, our brothers and sisters out there in Haiti, man, is catching hell, protesting and trying to get their lives in order. I mean, look at some of these pictures. Look at this. See? Uproar, uproars of the people. Every picture, man, everybody running for their damn lives, man. Unbelievable. Iran to launch mass military drone drills. So in Iran's uh, efforts to keep up with the war efforts, and we know in Ezekiel 38, it's announced that Persia is going to join Gog and Magog in the final frontier of World War III. Gog and Magog is going to be securing Iran as a partner as the uh, species of biblical Persia. They also now are making sure that they're staying armed and prepared for war. Iran's armed forces will on Wednesday launch large scale uh, scale drone drills across the country involving 150 unmanned aerial vehicles to show off its power. Everybody's trying to show off. North Korea is showing off doing their drills. China's showing off doing their drills. Russia's already getting in the mix in war. Right? Everybody, you know, Taiwan just went and, and shot down or, or, or shot at uh, a drone, a Chinese drone last week. So a lot of showing off is going on right now. State media reported Tuesday, the accuracy and power of weapons, the capabilities of guidance and control systems and the, com and the combat capabilities of drones are among the things that will be tested and evaluated in this exercise. Deputy coordinator of the armed forces, Admiral. Habibullah Sayari told the state broadcaster, this is the first time that a joint drone exercise is conducted at the level of the four forces of the Islamic Republics of Iran's army and the country's joint air defense base. Sayari added, no, t no details were given as to how long the exercises would last. So Iran is getting more equipped and prepared for war. Unmanned drones, here they go. Unmanned drones. See that? Slow Biden having more problems. As usual, the exodus from the Biden campaign, the O Biden campaign, 
the slow Biden house of horrors, more people are leaving. <laughs> more people are leaving. Um, we know that the so-called blacks that was um, operating under him have had what they've called a black exodus or exodus of Jake's leaving up out of there. Now he got a little sodom sodomite body man. I don't know what that means, a body man. But he's leaving. Look at this. Biden's body man quits. First staffer to see the president in the morning set to join West Wing Exodus by leaving White House this week. President Slow Biden's body man, Stephen Go Gepford, is set to leave the White House at the end of the week. CNN reported Tuesday that Gepford will depart the West Wing for a position in the Transportation Department. He would rather work transportation than to serve under Slow Biden. <laughs> but he's the most beloved, the most voted president ever. Nobody turns down Slow Biden. Everybody voted for him, didn't they, in 2020? I can't tell. Geppert is the first openly gay man to hold the role of a personal aide to the president. Personal aide to the president. Body man. Openly gay, really. That's interesting. <laughs> you know, I, I, I am not saying slow Biden is a sodomite. But, uh, you know, these are interesting roles that they got. So he's the personal aide of the, of the president, man. He's out of there. He said, man, I got, I'd rather go work for the trains and buses, man, than, than, than to serve under this goof. He joined Slow Biden's team during the 2020 campaign and stayed on after Biden's White House win. President Biden's body man. There you go. He said he's out of there, man. He can't deal with Slow Biden no more. So more collapse. Look, here, here's the list. Jen Psaki, Amanda Finney. You know. You had the Jakes, and they got uh, uh, some of the women under, I mean, people under his uh, wife's staff have been leaving. Kamala, Kamala Harris's staff have been jetting out. There's been a heavy exodus of people leaving. Well, what's the problem? What's the problem? I thought everybody loved. thought everybody loved Slow Biden. Hmm? <laughs> Matthew twelve twenty six, and if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then this kingdom stand? I mean, if there's division amongst the house of Satan, man, the, the great whore, she got breakouts happening all over the place. This disease broad man of America, it's out of here. This is just the recipe for disaster. That's why he was out there making those subtile threats. In the State of the Union address last week, that's why he had it flooded with the background lights, the red lights in the military, you know, uh, Marines standing next to him and declaring war against the MAGA Republicans. And his own house is out of order. So how the hell can you go out there trying to correct and talk about how half of America is against America and all the, all the foolishness he was talking about? He can't even get his own damn house in order, man. How are you going to run the world? Oh, that's right. He's just a puppet. He's got controllers. You know, but he, he's got to play. He's got to be the face man for all the destruction that's going to be happening throughout the world, man. But you see some of his, his people, man, the rats are jumping off the ship. All right. Uh, let's look at this, right? Let's look at this. See, the perks are always coming back. See, remote working and all that, you know, all praises for it. For those who, who are able to, you know, take advantage of that situation. But look what they do. man. And, and, you, know, you know, the white man always breaks his damn covenants, man. He always breaks his word. It's always a little trick at the end of the damn rope. Look at it. You may soon be asked to take a pay cut to keep working from home. He already doubled down and said that federal workers need to start coming back. Let me see. Hold on. Let me see if I can pull that up.
Yeah, look at this. We need those folks. We need those office folks. Officials urge Biden administration to end silence on, on remote work. You know, be, before it was, uh, you know, the DVOC man, stay away. Now, all of a sudden, you need people back in office. So, uh, to my knowledge, he's, he's speaking on federal workers at this point. Um, but they're double backing on, you know, set agreements as far as work is concerned. So now they're saying you could be penalized if you want to work from home. Working from home during the pandemic became a surprising success. Many workers enjoyed a better quality of life, plus savings on commuting, office wardrobe, and other expenses. Companies boosted productivity and lower costs. Now, as remote work looks likely to survive in some form for the foreseeable future, a battle is starting to brew over who should pocket those savings. It's always down to the money. With some employers arguing that working from home is a benefit that should be offset by lower salaries. With the pandemic easing, more companies are calling workers back to the office. Even so, about 30% of all paid workdays are still being done from home, up to 5% before the uh, vid outbreak, according to the Working From Home Research Project, led by econ econ economists at Stanford and, and uh, the University of Chicago. So, you know, we're seeing here, man, white man speak with forked tongue, as usual. He's double backing considering uh lowering your salary if you're working from home remotely all right so don't be surprised if your job pops up and says that you know they're already trying to cut jobs they're already laying off they're already rescinding job offers so the fact that those of us who still have jobs are going to be asked to take lower salaries in a high inflationary high rent high lease high mortgage high interest rate society with bare shells with food and scarcity of goods and can't water your lawn high energy bills and you're being told to take less or nothing imagine that that's the state of affairs that we in let's look at this real quick pentagon leaders tell troops to stop using mail-in genealogy dna kits why would the military tell their people don't do it hmm U.S. troops are being advised to steer clear of popular genetic testing kits over what the Pentagon leaders say is a growing concern that personal information could be exploited or tracked. Oh, you don't say. You don't say. Oh, they're keeping your DNA. They're utilizing your DNA for other alternative means. They're tracking all of your DNA information, your biology, your biometrics. They're, they're storing those things. Oh, don't, don't say it ain't so. Very interesting. Top military brass received a memo last week warning them that some genetic testing companies are encouraging Defense Department personnel to buy genetic ancestry or health information products by offering military discounts. Oh, it's always a little catch, a little gift. Oh, we'll give you we'll give you a little discount if you give us your DNA, so we can store it. Bio, bio, uh, what do they call it? Bio, uh, what do they call that thing? Almost like the biofreeze. Y'all know what I'm talking about. They store it in the freezer. Biocrogenics, something like that. Anyway. But let's look at this. But the direct to consumer DNA tests are, quote, largely unregulated. You know, the little cheap tests that you take, they send it in, you swab your cheek and all of that and mail it back in. They're not regulated. That means that they're doing whatever. The companies are doing whatever. With your DNA. The memo states potentially leaving the, their personal data or genetic information at risk that the memo adds could, quote, create unintended security consequences and increased risk to the joint force and mission. The memo was signed by Joseph Kernan, the Undersecretary of Defense for Intelligence, and James Stewart, the Assistant Secretary of Defense for Manpower and Reserve Affairs. Military.com obtained a, a copy of the memo, which Yahoo News first reported on this week. So don't don't trust the DNA test, the mail in kits and all of that It's highly unregulated and your DNA will be compromised. For whatever means they want to use them for, OK. Let's look at this. 
It's in Ohio. For those who haven't seen this already, 20-year-old victim appears to sit up in the bed with something in his hand. Let's see what let's see if it's justified. Now, they didn't yell freeze. Okay, they're, they're peeping in the house. They got the dog. At that point, there's no sound because it's just a body cam, right? But you can see right there, police found no weapon nearby, only a device that seemed like a vape pen. Again, this is how they storm the house, utilizing surprise tactics. A man jumps up out the bed. I mean, what do you what are you supposed to do when somebody breaks in your home and you don't know who they are? Is he supposed to know it's a damn cops? Are they announcing anything? They turn off the damn volume on the on the um the uh, the body cam so we can't hear everything that went down. And the door opens, they just shot. Not freeze, let me see your hands, not sick them, dog, or n- none of that. It's shoot first, ask questions later. And they found nothing but a vape pen. And this is like, Ohio's got a bloodlust for, for Israelites out there, man. Wasn't Tamir Rice in um Ohio? Little ten year old kid, man, that they shot in the playground that had a toy plastic gun. Uh this brother right here. There was another brother that just got killed. I forgot his name. I mean, it's so bad, man. There's so many. Forgive me to the memories of those. If I forget their names, it's just so many. We can't even keep up with how many people are getting killed. You know, look at see. Now, this is, I think this is the one where they, they broke into the house. Body camera video shows Columbus, Ohio. Police officer faded to shooting a 20-year-old black man in the bed. Uh, now, that was that one. There's another one. Let me see. Uh... Yeah, Jalen Walker, that was him. That's the brother that they they let off, what, 60 shots, 90 shots on him? Another one. Jalen Walker was unarmed when eight Ohio officers opened fire on him. Body cam footage shows. Ohio, again. I mean, what's with these damn demons out there in Ohio? Loving to kill some Jake, man. That's one. Check this one out. This is LAPD. Watch how watch how they do these ten tribe cats. Now you heard the man say, "What the f?" He has no idea what's going on. Northern Kingdom brother man, cops roll up like they gang like a gang unit doing a drive by. Said no words, no freeze, no don't move, no stay where you are. Just rolled up shooting. Look at these damn devils, man. Sixteen. I got it. You got it. Sixteen twenty-four. Show me uh, six oh eight. Rapper shots fired, officer. You tell. We got hey, one suspect. Hey, stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Male Hispanic, white shirt, black hat. I got. All units, officer needs help. Seven eight two bastards. Seven. The, the officer needs help. Uh, who shoot at the officer? What help does he need? Are you kidding me? You roll up and just start shooting. And then say, send more help. One suspect ran into the backyard wearing a white shirt and a black hat requesting backup area and supervisor. Hey, let me see your hand. 
Just get away. Get away, get away from the gun. Get away from the gun. What happened? Get away from the gun. Why you guys shot it? Stop! Stop! Just get out of here, man. That's it. That's it. Get out of here. He's trying to say, man, I got my family in the house. What's going on? Why are you shooting my house? And he says, just get out of here. That's it. Get out of here. Get away from the gun. First of all, there was no gun. They said the man had a butane lighter that was shaped like a gun. Always shaped like something. But does that give you a reason to roll up and just shoot at these people? Just back up. Just back up. Just back up, man. It's all good. It ain't all good. Now, here's the angle from the, the, um, the house camera. They're at home pulling up into the driveway, right? Now there, there's a cop, cop, cop car over here. Do we hear sirens? Do we hear anything that's showing that they're in some sort of pursuit? Did you see that? No sirens, no nothing. Obviously, these guys see the cops pulling up. Now, you see that's it, what's in his hand. They're saying that that was a gun, but it's a butane lighter. They didn't ask. No, no sirens, no nothing. We, they don't know what's going on. They're getting out to go get in the house. They're like, man, the cops pulling up. Let's get in the house. We don't know what they finna do. And they get out all calm. They ain't go run and chase them. I got it. You got it? Hey, 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 right there. Stay 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 right Oh, yes, that shows you, man, that this was not some wild pursuit, that they wasn't chasing down nobody because, again, there was no sirens. We didn't see no lights, didn't hear nothing. They wasn't, it wasn't no pursuit. They pulled up, parked, got out. They just get to busting. And then he now we're in now they can talk about no audio capture during one minute buffer period buffer my ass they didn't have no damn sirens on because we didn't even see the lights flashing on the cars i mean at least on the car now you see the lights on the on the front when they first pulled up, look, there ain't no lights on there. They turned the lights on after they after they shot and pulled up. Look, again, another angle. There's no lights going on. His reaction alone. Is, his reaction alone lets you know this caught him by surprise. Like, what are you doing? What the hell? I mean, so y'all see what happened, man. So the cat with the white shirt and the hat that ran in the house and said, what the F? They wound up arresting him talking about he robbed, or did a robbery some time back. I mean, they had to justify it. Guaranteed he going to get out after that folly. But they tried to justify the shooting. Here go another one. Last one. Yeah, hi. I'm on a 4 Edge Hill Drive. I'm sorry. What was the number on Edgefield or Edge Hill? So this is a brother. He's calling in. He called the police on the, on the brother. He said he looked like he's a transient homeless cat. He's got a gun on him. 
Uh, he asked him to leave. The, the Jake said he's going to leave whenever he, want, whenever, whenever he feels like it. So he's given an address. Let me speed it up. I told him to leave, and he pulled out a gun. Hi, I just uh, was called about a guy who's walking around with a gun, and I then saw police officers are looking for him, and I don't... So now the white woman calls in. I'm assuming the voice sounds a little white. I'm, I'm, I could be wrong, but the first one sounds like a Jake. Next one, white woman calls in, and she says she got called. Who who called her? Oh no, she said hi. I just called about a guy. Sounds like she said I got called about a guy. Nine one one, operator four three eight. Hi, I just uh, was called about a guy who's walking around. She said it sounds like she said I was just called about a guy. But they interpreted it first saying, I just called about a guy who's walking around with a gun. And I saw it. And they, then I saw police. With a gun, looking. And I then saw police officers are looking for him. And I don't think they see him. But he just walked, started walking up Degnan, just north of King. And I just wanted Dead. to get that. Degnan and King. This is open in Lemur Park area in L.A. If you're in L.A., you know where, where this is at. So she wanted to get the information out. Now, here the cops pull up on the yeah. Now, mind you, I'm pretty sure that this Jake got mental issues. They telling him, hey, come here, come here. The Jake just keeps walking. Okay. Right. I'm sorry. In Oakland, they say King. Hey, come here. Hey, take your hands out of your pocket, bro. Take your hands out of your pocket, bro. Take your hands out of your pocket. Bro. It's not a gun, bro. It's not a gun, bro. It's not a gun. Let me let's let's double back. They got up close. They identified. Here it is, right here. It's not a gun, bro. They already identified that this man did not have a gun. It's not a gun, bro. Another drive-by. It seems as though the cops in the car shot him as opposed to the men that were pursuing him because you know what? They can't shoot him in the back. So the cop car got to get either Equal distance to him, side by side, or in front of him, in order to shoot. Five seven officer needs help. Shots fired. Officer needs help. Front center. Oh, unit officer needs help. Hey, stop reaching for it! Stop reaching for it! Stop reaching for it! Get covered! Get covered! Get covered! Don't move! Don't move! Get on the fucking wall! What's that? Now you see how they escalated. Don't move. Don't move. I got the gun. After they just said it wasn't a gun. It was a black metal lock actuator. And they knew it ahead of time. The cop said it's not a gun. They still shot him, man. Still shot him. You know. It's the type of madness, man, that we have to witness all the time in our communities. Black Hispanic, on, on black Hispanic, white cops sh shooting us, your own people shooting you. Zechariah 11 and 5, whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, and, that s and they that sell them say, blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. That's the plight of, this, of, of, the, of the Israelites, black Hispanics, Native Americans, man. All the nations profiteer off of our ser servitude, our oppression. They live off of the destitute of our own. And then our shepherds don't pity us not because they're running around saying it's about prosperity doctrine. The shepherds are out here saying, don't stop living in a victim mentality. Oh, nobody's oppressing you. You're in America. You make it, you make it what you want to make it. Everybody can be what they want to be. If you dream it, you can accomplish it. Aren't they all saying the same madness? But we see no changes. No changes in society. A couple of little egghead Negroes and coconuts slide through the uh, slide through the cracks to make it look as though opportunity is there. You can be whatever you want. 
But on the grand scheme of things, man, those doors are shut to most of us. And the ones that do make it in, they told don't go back. And if they do go back, they're going back through Edomite foundations, nonprofit organizations that's tax deductible so that they can make sure that their finances stay intact. And it, it appears as though charitable works have been done. And the game is up. And the gig is up, man. One more scripture. And Lamentations. 4 and 18. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled for our end is come. This is what happens, man, from the police to the SWAT teams to your nosy neighbors who's out there calling the police on you every other minute because you water in your lawn. Our people is out here getting hunted, man. You just seen three examples all within the last three weeks. Not even three weeks, man. Week and a half, if that. Actually, the one, the, the Hispanic uh, shooting, that was in July. So let's just say within the last month and some change, man. And that's just what I found today. Imagine what else was going on out there. Imagine. Good Lord. If you haven't done it already, man, make sure that you uh, show some class and wipe your feet before you leave. If you haven't wiped your feet, you know what that means. That means hit the like button. You come to the house. You want to eat. I'm serving you up food and drink. I'm not asking for no money. Only thing I'm asking you to do is hit the like button. Let's make sure the algorithms are notified that you're watching this content so that others who are subscribed and others who are looking for current event content can get this notification and get this information, man. We're trying to wake our people up, man. Blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics, do your job now and wipe your feet before you leave. With that, I'm going to close out, man. All praise, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, the Savior of Israel and Israel alone. Always remember, man, fear the Most High, keep the commandments, and don't ever shoot your messenger. <laughs>